probably going to think I'm so lame for saying this, but this next thing is actually one of my favorite gifts. Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome to my annual What I Got For Christmas haul. I almost didn't film one of these this year because the last thing I want is for any of you guys to be upset if you didn't get anything for Christmas. Just remember, Christmas is not at all about the gifts and I know I say something like this every year but in no way am I trying to brag about what I got. Like always, this was super requested. It's actually a few days before Christmas right now and I've already received a bunch of different gifts from brands. So I also wanted to make this just to thank everyone that gave me gifts because I didn't ask for anything for Christmas this year. So first, I'm going to start with some gifts that were from Alani New, and they sent this super nice bag, which I think is going to be super useful for traveling in 2022. This passport and luggage tag set, which again will be so useful for travel, a Polaroid camera, and a portable phone charger. Everything is just so nice, so thank you so much, Alani New. Benefit Cosmetics also sent a gift, and I was so excited when I got it because they're one of my favorite makeup brands. So basically, it was like a 12-day advent calendar, and every day had a different makeup product. Product. One of my favorites is definitely their Their Real Mascara. And then along with the makeup, they also sent a five minute journal and a pink hoodie. You guys know pink is my favorite color, so thank you, Benefit. Speaking of clothes, I got a bunch of super cute clothes from Princess Polly. The first thing from them is actually this romper that I'm wearing right now. Also from Princess Polly are these jeans and I've been wanting baggy jeans like this forever. Since I'm pretty short, I haven't been able to find a pair that aren't too long, so I was super happy when these ones fit. I'm also obsessed with this white flowery romper. They also sent two skirts that I love, this white top and this green top, which you might recognize if you watched my last video, which is also a Christmas video. So I'll leave it linked in the description if you wanna check it out after this one. Drunk Elephant, like the skincare brand, sent me their Moretinol oil that I've been using since I got it. And so far I love it. Along with this candle set, I did not expect this at all. So thank you so much, Drunk Elephant. This gift is from Essie and they sent their nail polishes. I haven't tried them yet but I'm super excited to. Trini London sent some of their makeup products too along with this new makeup bag. Thank you Trini London. I especially love the bag. And that's everything I've gotten so far. I know it's a lot so I'm super grateful. And I'll talk to you guys again on Christmas Day. It's now Christmas day, so we just finished opening presents and all I can say is I am in shock. When my parents asked what I wanted for Christmas, I basically just said that I didn't need anything so they really don't have to get me much. So I was definitely not expecting this many gifts. It seems like they also really liked the gifts I got for them, so I'm super happy about that. I think I'll save my favorite gift for last and start with my stocking. Let me know in the comments whether or not your family does stockings. We always open these up first before any bigger gifts. I'll just go through the stocking super quick, but the first thing in here is this tea. It's frozen raspberry flavored tea, which sounds so good. I've never tried a tea like this before. Also in here was some dry shampoo, this bubble bath that smells so good. Maybe later today I'll take a bath after I finish this video. This Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water that I've used before and I really like it. It's basically just like a water-based makeup remover. And the last thing in my stocking was this loofah. I've been wanting a loofah for the shower and it's also nice that this one is eco-friendly. I almost forgot to show you, there was also this satin pillowcase in my stocking. I used to have one of these, but now there's a rip in it, so I'm super happy that I have a new one now. And now let's move on to the big gifts. This first gift is from my grandparents, and it's a tea infusing mug set. I don't know exactly how to use it yet, but basically it's like a mug, and I'm pretty sure you put the tea in this gray spot. Maybe I'll use this today to try out that raspberry tea that was in my stocking. My grandparents also got me a gift card to Sephora, and I actually need a new face powder right now, so I'll definitely be using this for that. You guys are probably going to think I'm so lame for saying this, but this next thing is actually one of my favorite gifts. It's not my absolute favorite. I'll show you that later, but I think it's my second favorite and it's a whiteboard calendar. I know you're probably like, why is that one of your favorite gifts? But I just love organizing things and I also always have so many deadlines for different projects I'm doing. So I'm excited that I can hang this up right next to my desk and then I'll have everything in front of me that I need to get done for the month. I just feel so much better and less overwhelmed when I have everything planned out. My parents also got me this super cute makeup bag. It's so my style and it also has my name on it. This gift is from my sister and it's filled with different Lush products. I haven't even opened the box yet and it already smells amazing. Apparently in here is two different bath bombs and two bubble bars. I love taking baths so I cannot wait to use these. Thank you so much to my sister for this gift. And I know this may seem like a weird gift but she also got me a milk frother. So basically the reason why she got me a milk frother is because she has one 
one and when she came home from school she brought it with her and I was using it so much to make almond milk lattes and stuff like that so I'm pretty sure that's why she got me my own. Another one of my favorites is this photo book. I think this will be so nice to have to look back on. I'm going to print off a bunch of pictures from my phone and fill this up with different memories. I also might put some Polaroid pictures in here using that new Polaroid I showed you guys. We had some family come up to my house last night for Christmas Eve and we took some pictures with the Polaroid so maybe these will be my first addition to the book. Moving on to clothes, I got this tank that I'm wearing right now. This sweater that I think is so cute and comfy looking and this black turtleneck long sleeve top. I love that both of those are neutral colors because I have so many different pairs of colored leggings so it's great that I'll be able to wear those with so many different colors. Also this brown top, as you can see I really like turtlenecks. I promise this pink one is the last turtleneck. This one is from Aritzia in case you're wondering. I got these black jeans. These are from Zara and they're a similar style to the ones I showed you earlier in this video just a little more fitted. To end off clothes I got these comfy pajama shorts and these comfy tanks to go with it. My parents got me these black Sorel boots and I have a gray pair of these that I'm obsessed with. I literally wear them all the time. I love that they have a wedge on them but they're also super comfortable. So it's great that I have a black pair now to like change it up with the gray ones. The next one is another gift from my grandparents. It was super unexpected but I definitely see myself using this like all the time. It looks really nice. It's pink and it has like three different heads. You probably don't know this but I love getting massages. They're covered like through my healthcare so I usually get them a few times a year. But now with this I can give myself like an at-home massage so I think that's awesome. Speaking of like massages and self-care another gift I got are these Epsom salt. They literally smell like flowers so these will be great to put in the bath as well. I got so many like self-care and spa day things here so let me know if you'd like to see a video of like an at-home spa day. This gift is also very spa day-ish like it's a facial steamer. I have never tried one of these before but it seems very cool. My parents also got me this mascara kit but I just got so many mascaras from Benefit so I'm thinking I might re-gift this to my grandmother because both of my grandparents got me so many nice gifts. This last gift is definitely my favorite it's from both my parents and my grandparents and they got me a new GoPro. I'm honestly so excited. I'm sure most of you know what a GoPro is but it's basically this little camera and it's great for a bunch of different things but I personally cannot wait to make more underwater videos with it. I used to have a GoPro and I loved it but then one day I went to use it and it just wouldn't turn on so this is definitely going to be put to good use once it's like warmer and I can make some underwater videos and not even just underwater videos but I find this is super convenient to use for like vlogging if I don't want to use my phone because my camera is so bulky I don't really like bringing it with me places but this is so tiny that it'll be easy to take on the go. I just love this gift so much I was actually thinking about buying myself a new one so I'm really glad I didn't. Anyways I hope all of you guys had an amazing Christmas if you celebrate it. Here's today's flexibility transformation feature and don't forget to check out my most recent video by clicking here. Bye!